many believers today are still frustrating the power of this kingdom. Wait a minute, I want to ask you a question. Please, why are you frustrating the power of the kingdom? Why are you frustrating the power of the kingdom? I want you to know that the Holy Spirit is the power of the kingdom. As Jesus prayed in the, in the gospel, he said, Thy kingdom come. He prayed in his earthly ministry. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. So the kingdom has already come. The kingdom came 2,000 years ago. On the day of Pentecost, we have the kingdom. And we are the product of the kingdom. The power of the kingdom is the Holy Spirit. And the power operating in the kingdom is the Holy Spirit. But many believers still fail to understand this. And they are frustrating the power in this kingdom. Many times we bruise the Holy Spirit. We frustrate the Holy Spirit. By many things and by many ways. I want to admonish you that you should stop frustrating the Holy Spirit. Do not frustrate the Holy Spirit. In Matthew chapter 12 verse 32. Matthew, the gospel of Matthew chapter 12 verse 32. Please project it for me please. Matthew chapter 12 verse 32. Let us read it together. One, two, go. And whosoever speaketh a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. But whosoever speaketh against the Holy Ghost, he shall not be forgiven him, neither in this world, neither in the world to come. The sin against the Holy Spirit. Whosoever speaketh against the Holy Ghost. What does it mean to speak against the Holy Ghost? It means to blaspheme, blasphemy against the Holy Ghost. According to Mark chapter 3 verse 29. You call it the eternal sin. A sin that can never be forgiven. And the sin of the Holy Ghost means rejecting Christ Jesus. Sin of the Holy Ghost means rejecting the Holy Ghost. When you reject the salvation of the Lord, you reject the Holy Ghost. Jesus was talking to the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Why are you frustrating the Holy Ghost? Why are you rejecting salvation? Why are you rejecting the gospel of eternity? This is an eternal sin which has no forgiveness. The moment you die without receiving Christ Jesus, it is sin against the Holy Ghost. So why are you frustrating the Holy Ghost? The Holy Ghost is moving daily over the surface of the earth to deliver salvation unto men. But many people are still rejecting the Holy Ghost. Why are you frustrating the Holy Ghost? Ah, why are you frustrating the Holy Ghost? In Acts of Apostles chapter 5 verse 3, Act of Apostles chapter 5 verse 3, he said, But Peter said unto Ananias, Why has Satan filled thy heart to lie to the Holy Ghost and to keep back part of the price of the land? So whenever we sin against God and against the body of Christ, we are frustrating the Holy Ghost by our little sin. Sins in our life can frustrate the Holy Ghost. Sin in the body of Christ can frustrate the Holy Ghost. Ananias and Sapphira lied to the Holy Ghost. They lied to the apostle. And whenever you lie, you lie to the Holy Ghost. In verse 9, please, read verse 9. Let us look at verse 9. One to go. Then Peter said unto her, said unto Sapphira, How is it? That ye have agreed together to tempt the spirit of the Lord. Ye have agreed with your husband to tempt the spirit of the Lord. Behold, the feet of them which shall bury thy husband are at the door, and shall carry thee out. They are at the door, and shall carry thee out. So whenever you sin against God, against the body of Christ, against your fellow men, you are testing the Holy Ghost. And you are tempting the Holy Ghost. You are frustrating the Holy Ghost by your little and mega sins. In Acts of Apostles, Acts of Apostles, chapter 7, verse 51. Acts of Apostles, chapter 7, verse 51. He said, Ye stiff neck and uncircumcised in heart and ears, ye do always resist the Holy Ghost as your fathers did. So do ye. 
ye resist the Holy Ghost. Whenever you resist the Holy Ghost, get this. Wait a minute, please get this. Whenever you resist the Holy Ghost, you are frustrating the Holy Ghost. You are treating the Holy Ghost wrongly. You resist the Holy Ghost by denying the power of the kingdom. By denying the oppression of salvation. By denying the oppression of this power. By denying the advancement of the kingdom. By denying the expansion of the kingdom. By fighting against the church, you resist the power of the spirit. And it is a great sin to resist the advancement of the body of Christ on earth. Many are called believers, and they call themselves believers, but they are still resisting the advancement of the body of Christ on earth. In Hebrews, please, let us open to Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 29. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 29. He said, Of how much sorrow punishment suppose he Shall he be thought worthy who has thrown him under the foot, the Son of God, and counted the blood of the covenant, wherewith he was sanctified and holy thing, and has done this fight unto the Spirit of grace? You have trodden under the foot, the Son of God, and counted the body of the covenant. You have done this. So the spirit of grace, you are frustrating the spirit of grace in the body of Christ. You have insulted the spirit of grace. And many are insulting the spirit of grace. By denying the power of the kingdom on earth. You frustrate the Holy Spirit by denying the power of God in you. Anytime you resist the power of God in you. From manifesting, you are frustrating the spirit of the Lord. Many believers are frustrating the spirit of the Lord that is in them. Because they fail to manifest the power of the kingdom. Every believer must manifest the power of the kingdom. The reason why you've been called into the kingdom and you've received the adoption of the spirit is for you to manifest the power of the kingdom. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. So you receive your spiritual adoption into the kingdom so that you can manifest the power of the kingdom. And any time you fail to do this, you are frustrating the Spirit of God in you. Libra po shakatala barakatwa ketete. Lege de kote ki agarabaya katuda. Le breke tote gari. Ne pato si agala. Le peto unda kwa tekete. Le bekutete putu agala. Ne po untake akarabu shkalabali. Lege de baro. E patwa ketete. Ne beke toshi. Wait a minute. Write this down. Every believer that fail to manifest the power of the kingdom on earth are frustrating the Holy Ghost. Every believer that fail to manifest the power of God on earth are frustrating the Holy Ghost. Please write it down and get that revelation knowledge. If you fail to manifest the power of God on earth, you are frustrating the Holy Ghost. If you fail to preach the gospel, you are frustrating the Holy Ghost. If you fail to help the body of Christ, you are frustrating the Holy Ghost. If you fail to give your time, your talents, and your treasures for the advancement of the kingdom, you are frustrating the Holy Ghost. In Isaiah chapter 63 verse 10, Isaiah chapter 63 verse 10, he said, But they rebel, and vex his Holy Spirit, therefore he was torn to be their enemy, and he fought against them. You see, he was turned to be their enemy and he fought against them. They vexed his Holy Spirit. Therefore, he was turned to be their enemy and he fought against them. He was turned to be their enemy and he fought against them. So the Israelites 
rebel against the Holy Spirit and they vex the Spirit in the wilderness. And instead of the Spirit that was with them to follow them and support them in the journey, the Spirit smote them, the Spirit fought against them. The Spirit can turn and fight against you, although we are in the dispensation of grace. But do not rebel against the Spirit. And do not bless the Holy Spirit by your little sins. Run away from sin and run away from anything that can make you to bless the Holy Spirit. That can make you to grieve the Spirit of the Lord. In Ephesians, please, let us open to Ephesians. The Epistle of Apostle Paul to Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 4, starting from verse 30 to 31. Ephesians chapter 4. Ephesians chapter 4, starting from verse 30. He said, And grieve not the Spirit of God, whereby ye are seed unto the day of redemption. Grieve not. How can you grieve the Holy Spirit? In verse 31. He said, Let all bitterness, wrath, anger, clamor, evil speaking, be put away from you with all malice. In verse 32, he said, Be ye kind one to another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, has forgiven you. So grieve not the Spirit of God. Do not frustrate the Spirit of God. Anytime you sin, you commit sin, you are grieving the Spirit of God. You are frustrating the Spirit of God. You are vexing the Spirit of God. So do not vex, do not rebel against the Spirit of God by your sins. But be ye kind one to another, tender hearted, forgive one another. Anytime you fall into sin, forgive one another, even as God for Christ's sake has forgiven you. Engage the spirit of meekness, engage the spirit of forgiveness. Be ready to forgive. Be ready to forgive your neighbor, even before they sin against you, so that you will not grieve the Holy Spirit of God. Do not frustrate the Spirit of God. Walk in alignment with the power of the kingdom and begin to activate the power of the kingdom. The power of the kingdom is the Spirit of God. And do not resist this power of the kingdom. Allow the power of the kingdom to permeate your spirit, soul, and body. And allow that power to flow out of your spirit, man. So that you can demonstrate it on your body. So that you can engage the power of God in your body and manifest the power of the kingdom in your body. As you are flesh, begin to carry the anointing of the kingdom. Manifest the power of the kingdom and do not frustrate the power of the kingdom. 